Wolves pregame show. Mark Gilman, along with Western Oregon head football coach Arn Ferguson, coached the uh, season opener down at Humboldt State. Uh, you raced that first quarter, and you've uh, got yourself a very competitive game, as it was a valiant comeback, but the team just ran out of time, losing to the Jacks 29-20. A very competitive game. Uh, we knew Humboldt, uh, running back, was really good. He had over 200 yards, um, or just shy of 200 yards rushing. Um, defensively, we have to address that issue and be better, but also give credit to, to Garner. He's a very explosive back with ability to cut um, left or right on a dime. Um, so we think he's probably one of the best running backs in our conference. Um, so that's nice to be able to see someone like that. We just got to continue to get better. Um, and we can't let him start up so strongly We're scoring three out of four drives to begin with. I thought the second half, um, our offense really got things going. You saw Paul Revis, Andy Avgi really doing some things. And we thought, saw, saw Trey uh, as a quarterback really develop into his own. Um, he's been um, honestly under the shadow of Ryan Bergman for a while. And to see his confidence and his ability to throw the deep ball um, and also make the decisions that he made um, is really exciting for the future. We need to continue to run the ball better. Joe Harris had a, a really nice day. But as, as a whole, our team needs to get better against a very good caliber um, Humboldt State team, which we knew coming in would be that type of team. And so, so it's a, a game you, you build upon, you, you learn from, and now you face a Simon Fraser team with a lot of question marks. They've had a, kind of a merry-go-round in the coaching ranks up there, but there, there's some things you can always count on with Simon Fraser, big and physical. Yeah, Simon Frazier, uh, fortunately, they lost their receiver that uh, went to as a free agent, uh, I believe, to the Giants. I don't know if he made the cut or not. Mm. Um, Lamar, Durant. Phenom, Durant, really good receiver. Um, they also had another receiver that went CFL. Um, but they'll reload with talent because um, in the country of Canada, you know, Simon Frazier does play American football and the only school that plays American football. So they're able to attract the top of the top athletes in Canada and, and able to um, come in with JC transfers um, at quarterback. They have three or four. We're not sure which one we're going to see. Um, the biggest thing is that's their first game, our second game. We have no film. We have no idea what we're going to see with a new coaching staff and a transition of three head coaches in the last three years. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how our players adjust and adapt to a very talented uh, Simon Fraser team. We've looked at their O and D line last year, and a lot of young kids that are very, very talented. Now, uh, when you have so many question marks like that facing a team, now it's a matter of what can we do, uh, both offensively and defensively. And I, I know the the positives that you got uh, in the second half of that Humboldt game in particular is something you'd just like to simply build upon. We need to get better. Um, our practice has been good this week, um, so we expect to continue to get better. It's been more disciplined. Um, we had some players that played uh, too emotional and not with the brand of football they would like. And we're working hard on fixing that. And then also um, you know, with Simon Frazier, so people, they have two brothers that are probably one of the top two backers, Herman brothers. Um, one was the player of the year, I believe, last year that are really fun to watch and cover a lot of ground. So we definitely expect a close game at our place. And the first home game of the season, although not all the students are here. I know with the good weather uh, forecast, it, you know, it's good to get the stands filled up and uh, have a lot of fun here on the home turf. Yeah, we're fortunate to have a, a big stadium where it's a, really a family atmosphere. Um, our administration does a really good job to include all, all the community in that uh, event. And our, our families and the kids that we have, the support that they have, is really nice to see. Um, we just need to play the brand of football we're expected to play. And uh, finally, uh, you talked about we still have things to improve upon, but are, are you uh, happy with uh, the way your team rallied in that uh, last ball game to get ready for this one? The good thing about our players is the last, honestly, since I've been the head coach, they compete to the last snap. Um, and we're continuing to, to get players the, the playing time that they need to develop. We do play a lot of young players. It takes some time with them um, mentally and physically. 
but the the will to win and compete every snap we're very fortunate to have those type of athletes at our university and also with football head coach Aaron Ferguson of Western Oregon as always thanks for your time sir thanks Mark appreciate it